Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at our Rhino Rack roof rack system with the 49 inch long crossbars, the towers and the custom fit kit for your 2019 Honda Civic. So you've got your sedan and as sleek and sporty as the sedan version is, what if you need to carry around some kayaks or a roof box or a roof basket? or even a roof mounted bike rack. What you then need is a roof system. So this is gonna be our system from Rhinorack. We have the 49 inch long crossbar and we have some locking towers plus this custom fit kit that fits right around the curves of the Honda Civic, giving you that space and the option to carry around those accessories. So we have the 49 inch long crossbars and that number is important because it's a good balance of overhang but not too much overhang. For a sedan like your Civic, if you have too much overhang, you're more likely to hit your head against your crossbars when you get into the car. Here, we have pretty much the perfect length. So measuring from your tower to right before your end cap, you have two and three quarter inches of overhang. These are gonna be your aluminum bars with 165 pound weight capacity, and you're gonna have some integrated security features. So you have the metal lock cores for the tower, but you have the plastic lock cores for the end caps. You can purchase metal ones separately if you want to upgrade. But these pop off to give you access to your T-Track system, and you can see how sleek that crossbar is. And when you want to secure your T-Track accessories, you just pop that end cap back on, turn this key, and now that's secured. Some other important measurements. Um, one is going to be roof height. So we're going to measure from the top of the roof to the bottom of the crossbar. So here we have it at around three inches. And that's how much space you have for accessories. I have clamps that go around the crossbar. Three inches is pretty normal for that measurement. And next is gonna be the height added to the top of the roof. So this is gonna be where your cargo sits. So top of the roof to the top of the crossbar, about four and a half inches. So if you have skis and snowboards, especially the skis with extra tall bindings, you wanna make sure there's enough clearance there. And if there's not, then that's when you can start looking at accessories that give you that extra height. So these are Vortex Aero crossbars. So compared to your traditional round or square crossbars that are super noisy on the road, these will help out with that noise. Now they have these Vortex strips to help with that. The downside to Rhino Rack system with Vortex strips though is you have to cut them up and if you have T-Track mounted accessories, cut them around your accessories. If you're planning on doing that, I recommend just getting a pack of extra Vortex strips so that you're ready. So you have two keys included with your crossbar kit and these are all key to like, so you use them to open up the door. And here you can see how the custom fit kit is designed to fit around the grooves of your vehicle and just make that nice sleek line. And that way you can even slam your door on that hook without having to worry about it. So the install process may be a little confusing at first because there's different pads with different numbers, there's different hooks, you've got your bolts, you've got your tower end caps, things like that. But I'll guide you through that process. It's actually pretty simple if you do it the right way. So first we're gonna start with the towers and getting them onto the crossbars. I already did the rear crossbar, we're gonna do the front one together. Once you take the end cap off of your crossbar, you can then just slide your tower through. Make sure to line up that square plate. Next is to figure out which one's gonna be your right side, which one's gonna be your left side. So that's gonna be right, this is gonna be left. You're gonna have a foot plate and this needs to face out. And then you're gonna have a foot pad. So find the number that matches with the left one. So this foot pad, and since it's the left side, it's 281. You want that arrow facing the front of your vehicle. And then you have your foot plate, and you want that arrow facing out or away from your vehicle. So once you've figured out which way that is for you, just put those two together. So double checking, that's facing forward. That bottom arrow is facing out. Pop that onto your tower. Do the same thing on the other side, making sure you have the appropriate foot pad and plate. Next, you're gonna measure out where the towers go. So you have this included measuring strip. This pops into the bottom of your crossbar. 
and for our front crossbar we need to go to 144. Once you find that spot, just tighten that down. I'm not gonna cut this piece up for demonstration purposes. Next is to mark out where you're gonna put your front crossbar. So you have included stickers to mark your place and you want it at around 11, 13, 16 for the front crossbar and the appropriate distance for the rear crossbar. So once you know where your crossbar is supposed to go, gently place this onto your roof. Since you have the rubber pad on the bottom, that should help you out with getting it lined up. And now you're gonna get your hooks lined up. So you're gonna have this bolt, and then you're gonna have the appropriate numbered hook, and just get that threaded to your tower. Might be a little tricky at first. You may have to use both hands. So you wanna tighten this down evenly, meaning I like to tighten one side down about 40%, then go over to the other side about 75%. Just go back and forth a little bit. That way you don't skew the whole system to one way or the other. Your included tool actually has a torque spec. So see how that flattens out? That will let you know that you have about four or five Newton meters of torque and that your hook is tightened down properly. So once you have all four towers tightened down, just put the end caps on. So that's, there's that door for your towers and that has a key to secure it. So make sure that's locked. And then you have the end cap for your crossbars. So once all four towers and all four end caps are locked, then that's it for the install. You're ready to load this up and hit the road. So my personal thoughts about this system is if you want something that you can use to carry around your heavier or larger items like your kayaks, you want something sturdy and stable, definitely go with this. I know some people like an easier install process as well as uninstall process and that's when they would prefer the Sea Sucker Monkey Bars for their Honda Civic. There's different pros, different cons there. If you want longer crossbars, you can even check out the 54 inch long version. Just remember, you may hit your head with those crossbars getting into your vehicle. So hopefully this helped you out with guiding you through the process of installing your crossbars and seeing if it is the right fit for you. And that right there was a look at our Rhino Rack Roof Rack system with a 49 inch long Vortex Aero bars, the towers and the custom fit kit for the 2019 Honda Civic. 